Hello fellow crafters, my name is Jubido and today I'm going to tell you five Minecraft myths that are, are believed to be true. <laughs> hey guys, I'd just like to say thanks for so much support on my gaming videos. I'll be doing way more soon. So, here are five Minecraft myths. Okay, Herobrine is one of the first Minecraft myths to ever come out. It is rumored that he is Notch's dead brother. Although this may be true, I don't believe it. And some people say that you could build an altar out of it with netherrack, moss stone, gold, flint and steel, and a red or some redstone torches. So, um, here's me building it right now. And although this may seem true to mods, it is not true in the game or it hasn't been found yet. Entity 303 is another Minecraft myth and is said to be the new Herobrine. According to the internet, a former Mojang employee was fired by Notch, the creator of Minecraft. Now he wants revenge on Mojang and Minecraft players alike. Entity 303 is said to not be just the former employee, but a whole team of hackers going by the usernames like 303mojang.com, 303, and entity.303. The next Minecraft myth actually said that you could spawn a snow golem or an iron golem spawn egg in using commands. But the only way to do that is with mods, and the way to actually spawn a snow golem and an iron golem is with certain blocks. The next Minecraft myth is about sugarcane. What people would say is that you would be able to place sugarcane on sand without there having to be water. But that myth is actually false because I prove it right here. As you can see, it just falls to the ground after you destroy the water. The final Minecraft myth for this video is for the ability to play on each other's worlds using the land capability built into Minecraft. Unfortunately, that feature has been removed from many computers and the only way to bring it back is to go into your terminal settings on your computer. Okay guys, those were the top five Minecraft myths I could find in Minecraft, so go ahead, leave it. Yeah!